Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneurs who want their content marketing to convert content consumers into paying customers. If you've been posting on Instagram as a mature adult entrepreneur and you're like, struggling to get any conversions for your business at all, I'm here to help explain all of the reasons why your Instagram strategy isn't working. This video should definitely give you food for thought because after all, if you're not getting conversions when you're posting on social media at all, let alone on Instagram, then you're wasting your time and we don't want that. But before I forget, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneurs like you need to succeed with content marketing that drives traffic to your business so that you can do more business. Now, let's get down to some of the more popular reasons in terms of why your Instagram strategy isn't working. Lack of strategy. You're not posting on Instagram for personal reasons. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to have a second Instagram account for your business exploits. And yes, I do think you need to have a business account, not a personal account or anything else, a full on business account or profile so that this way you have access to your analytics for your account overall, post by post, that sort of thing. Because up front, if you're not checking your analytics or Instagram insights week by week, then you aren't getting the big picture in terms of who's actually finding your content and or following you when they're on the app, when you should be posting, if you're even attracting the right kind of follower, what kind of content they're actually engaging with and appreciating the most. So first of all, please make sure you have a separate account for your business on Instagram. And second of all, please make sure that it's a business account or profile. This way you can use your analytics or insights to help you strategize your content so that you can improve your targeting if you need to. And you can also double down on creating more of the type of content that your ideal customer on Instagram is enjoying the most from you. But when it comes to strategy, that's not all I'm talking about. If you're creating content on Instagram, you need to do it with an eye for the specific strategy that you have for that content so that it can get you one of three macro conversions from your business on the Instagram app. And that is one, more followers, two, more email list opt-ins, and three, more sales. Of course, the third macro conversion is the most important one, but here's something your strategy needs to take into consideration. Most people do not buy the first time they run across a business and or their offerings in much the same way most people do not get married after the first date. In both instances, you need to wine and dine them or they won't make a commitment or purchase, if you know what I mean. Most people need that KLT factor or the no like and trust factor. And I'm telling you, if your content strategy doesn't take this into account, then that's a major reason why your Instagram strategy isn't working. So every time you create a piece of content, you have to ask yourself, which of the three macro conversions am I trying to get with this post? The confused don't buy and the confused won't convert. So usually you'll want each piece of content and post to have just one macro conversion that it's after. Your caption should definitely encourage your content consumers to take action, whether it's to follow your account or get more value from the content you publish that way, or visit the link in bio to get a freebie or coupon from you. And to do that, they need to get on your email list or to make a purchase by doing X. If you don't have an overall strategy driven by analytics on Instagram, and or you don't have a strategy for each piece of content to get a content consumer to take a specific action, then this alone is why your Instagram strategy isn't working on behalf of your business. Lack of frequency. This one's pretty simple. I've covered this topic in previous videos on my channel in more depth, so you're welcome to check those out. But at the end of the day, you do need to post on a more mature platform like Instagram daily. Now, that could mean that you're posting an Instagram story daily. I think up to three times a day is actually better. It could mean that you published an IGTV video could be a reformatted YouTube video. Not everything need to be done from scratch. 
It could be a feed post or a guide, which is a collection of your feed posts. It could definitely be an Instagram reel, which as of 2021, they're still getting great traction from their content creators on the platform. It could be a live that you save the replay of in the form of an IGTV video afterwards. I don't care what you do, but you have to cover your base on this platform daily. It's competitive, but you can do well, but only if you publish with the proper frequency. Otherwise, that could be a reason why your Instagram strategy isn't working. Lack of variety. Now, I just kind of hinted at this in the last issue raise, but if all you're doing is feed posts with photos and short captions, and I'm telling you that this is definitely why your Instagram strategy isn't working, the platform's algorithm loves it when you play with its new toys, like Instagram Reels, and will give you extra algorithmic boost or reach for doing so. But human beings are funny creatures. They want variety in their content consumption, so nothing but a parade of product photos won't be enough to keep them satisfied. Not anymore. And nothing but a tsunami of sales announcements will either. Have a variety of messaging going on, about two to three times more fun and valuable content for your ideal customer to enjoy to every one piece of content about a product or a sale. But also have a variety of media going on too. No endless stream of pictures. Mix it up with video. Don't just do long form or IGTV videos. Mix it up with some Instagram reels, which are short form videos too. Variety is the spice of life. People don't want to stay in a relationship where there's no variety they'll get bored and leave. Think about that when you're planning out your content strategy because otherwise this is definitely one reason why your Instagram strategy isn't working. Lack of proper optimization. This isn't just as simple as duh use hashtags to help your to help optimize your content on Instagram. This isn't either as simple as saying duh don't just use hashtags that have a million or more uses on them per hashtag. Your content will get buried in each hashtags, you know, feed in minutes. This is you optimizing so that when you use hashtags and keywords in your captions, those are increasingly becoming more important on Instagram. But when you use hashtags, you're using the type of hashtags that have to do with the intersecting interests that your ideal customer has that would connect them to a business like yours as they search up content on Instagram. They're not searching for your business. They don't know you exist yet. They're not searching for your specific products or services. They don't know those names yet either. They are searching for content using both keywords and hashtags that have to do with the big biggest problem they're having as of late or the biggest passion point they have right now. What is ruling their mind is their priority right now. What's the main pain point or main passion point that your ideal customer has that would influence their search activities on the Instagram platform that would bring them to content that a business like yours creates that are value adds, relationship marketing based, that would entertain them, educate them and or inspire them? The answer to this question should affect your keyword and hashtag optimization strategy for sure, then you're more likely to be found by your ideal customer on Instagram. And better yet, they may be ready to buy either right away or after some relationship marketing based whining and dining through your content creation and publication strategy on the platform. There you have it. These are my thoughts as to why your Instagram strategy isn't working. Need more help? Be sure to check out these two awesome videos too because they'll teach you great content marketing strategies that can also help to blow up your business. Enjoy.